So this is going to be a real quick uh, unboxing slash setup slash care video for bumblebee millipedes. Um, and just millipedes in general. I kind of set them all up the same way. Um, I got these from Natalia Alamo. Um, this is essentially like a little trade that we did. I sent her some isopods. She sent me about 100 millipedes. And uh, yeah. So they came in this little thing. It was packed actually pretty nicely um, for what it is. Kind of sift through all that, so here they are. I really like bumblebees; they're very cute. <laughs> um, so this will be a nice little starter culture. So um, for bumblebee millipedes, hold on. Sorry, there was a plane. So for uh, my substrate, I do one part peat moss. One part organic topsoil, just stuff you find from Home Depot, you know, just make sure it says organic. Um, the only ingredient should be like, uh, let me see what's on the bag here. The only ingredients should be uh, manure, forest products, and compost. So that's the, the topsoil I use. Let's see, what's the brand? The brand is Earth Grow. You can use other organic brands, it's just the brand that I found. To, to like the best um, and then one part peat moss um, just like organic peat moss just plain no fertilizers or anything like that and then one part compost I make my own compost so I use that um, and then I mix in deciduous oak and maple leaves as well as rotten wood and then I also buy um, oak pellets um, the stuff that you kind of use for grilling and smoking just the all-natural stuff just oak pellets uh, works great Gives them plenty of uh, food once it breaks down a little bit more. Um, it's uh, kind of a lot easier to find than like just regular oak wood or rotting oak. You know, for some people, especially if you're like me and you live in California, um, deciduous trees are kind of, you know, hard to come across. We do have like scrub and valley oak, but um, it's not quite the same and it's still kind of hard to find, especially hard to find when it's rotting. Another plane. I swear, this time of day, there's like a plane every like two minutes. It's ridiculous. But as you can see, there's plenty of millipedes in here. Are you alive? Yes, you are. You're just kind of cold. Um, they were supposed to be hold for pickup, but I guess, you know, the post office being the post office, they didn't feel like holding it, so they delivered it to me. So they're a little bit cold. Bumblebee millipedes like it warmer on the warmer side compared to some of the other millipede species. Like, um, the other ones I keep are, uh, ivory millipedes and then the Urius lychii, uh, train millipedes. Um, they like it on the cooler side, but these guys like it on the warmer side. So, we're just gonna make sure that... We don't discard any millipedes with all this paper towel. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, there's a hundred of these suckers in here, maybe even more than that. Um, if anybody wants some and you're in the Northern California Bay Area, I'm going to be uh, at the San Mateo Reptile Expo. Probably sell a few of these. Um, I got them partially to sell and then partially to start my own colony. Um, I'm kind of just entering the world of millipedes. I've had other millipedes in the past, like I've had African giant millipedes a long time ago, back when they were like really expensive. Um, but I wound up soling, selling them, sorry, just because... Um, I was into other things at the time, I guess. So, yeah. Let's get a, a zoom in there a little bit. A lot on here. But yeah, um, for food for these guys, um, pretty much the same as other millipedes and isopods. Um, they really like squash and other like decaying rotting vegetables. I found they like sweet peppers, um, pumpkin. Um, they nibble on sweet potato okay. Um, if you feel like spending $10, you can also get um, a product 
from Rapashi called Morning Wood that has uh, cellulose wood fibers and stuff in it. But they uh, they seem to really enjoy all of my millipedes enjoy it, so I assume these do. Um, and the reason I kind of had the substrate sloped is because um, I've only added a little bit of the oak pellets. I kind of ran out, so I'm waiting for more to come in on Monday. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole bunch here and then move over the substrate. You don't want to disturb the substrate of these guys too much for really any millipede species, but um, it's not going to hurt them too much. She was nice enough to give me some of her substrate as well, which is cool, you know. Always down for free substrate. Looks like we don't even have a single DOA here. All of them look to be alive and well. Just a little bit cold, which, you know, happens in shipping when you're... Um, these were shipped all the way from Florida, so I can't really complain if they're a little bit cold or took too long um, word of notice if you're gonna ship animals and people ask for um, hold for pickup um, or if you're going to receive animals I recommend asking for hold for pickup the most dangerous part of the shipping process is being on the truck the truck is when they're exposed to the most elements and stuff um, so having them held at the post office prevents that but if you're a seller and you're trying to do hold for pickup you can't just write hold for pickup on the box like she did. You can't do that. You need to make a special label for it, a hold for pickup label, so that way they actually do it. Um, you do have to write hold for pickup on the box and you have to write the full address on the box, um, but you also need the label. Um, you need all of that stuff. God, I hate these planes. I'm gonna it down just a little bit and then I'm gonna miss this with uh, some distilled water um, just because they do like it a little bit more on the humid side the species and then um, oak some like legit oak wood with some lichen and stuff growing on it I love that can't get enough of that like that um, like I said, I still have stuff to put in here, so I'm going to put that in there later. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh. Cuddle bone for the calcium. Really important for, um, Jesus, this is the thick stuff. It's hard to break. You know what? There you go. Maybe I'll break it up soon. But, um, really important for, uh... You need to find a thinner piece to break in half. Really important for your myriapods and your isopods. Stuff like that that has uh, a calcium carbonate based exoskeleton. Most insects it's made out of chitin, which is uh, closer to a protein if I'm not mistaken. But um, stuff like millipedes and isopods, um, they need calcium to build their shell. And also mix... Um, some real tiny crumbly chunks into the substrate tomorrow or Monday when I get that uh, those oak pellets but uh, yeah that's more or less the deal um, maybe I'll show you a millipede real quick to make this a slightly more interesting video really pretty I love these millipedes Super easy to take to care for, but um, yeah, basically all you need to know with millipedes is that their food is their substrate, so you gotta have really high quality substrate because it's you know high quality food. You are what you eat. Um, maybe replace the substrate every six to eight months. Um, some people keep them in very small containers with only so like they say the bare minimum requirement for them is you want the substrate to be like something like twice as deep as they are long or something like that but I do a lot bigger than that um, excuse my outdoor workstation but this is a big tub and at the top it's full like maybe like a foot you know this makes it so that way you don't have to uh, replace your substrate all that terribly often which is a pain 
And when you have to replace substrate, you're ultimately disturbing them and you could destroy nests of eggs and stuff like that and you don't want that. So yeah, that's uh, that's more or less it. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this, a little break from the isopod content. Um, I'm going to do a roach care video probably next, probably domino roaches. Um, probably going to do that later tonight, um, if possible. We'll see, you know. But yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Oh, one thing I forgot to add. Safe woods and uh, leaves for these. Anything that's deciduous and hardwood, oak, alder, maple, ash, elm, poplar, uh, fruit trees work too, I guess, like cherry and apple and stuff, but they gotta be pretty broken down. Um, same goes with the leaves, they like the leaves of all those trees. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it. See you later guys, like, comment, share, subscribe.